हेलो एवरीवन इन टुडेज वीडियो आई विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू क्रिएट और मैनेज रिलेशनशिप इन पावर बी आई यस दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू हैव मल्टीपल फाइल्स एंड यू वांट टू क्रिएट वन सिंगल रिपोर्ट बाय यूजिंग पावर बी आई ओके तो हाउ टू यूज इट एंड वाट इज द बेसिक फंडामेंटल ऑफ यूजिंग क्रिएटिंग एंड मैनेजिंग रिलेशनशिप इन पावर बी सो फर्स्ट वी नीड आई हैव टू मल्टी टू फाइल्स ऑल्सो वन इज एम्प्लॉय डेटा We are employee ID, full name, job title, department, uh, business unit, gender, ethnicity, age, hire date, and everything I have that and exit date also available. But there is no salary. Okay, so how can I make the report as per the requirement that I I want to show the employee salary? Okay, so there is an employee name and employee ID, but there is no employee salary. And uh, I have also one more file where you can see employee ID. and annual salary and there is no employee name so how can i identify the employee name and that i can show the salary of every employee okay so i will help you to understand how to use it so let's go to the power bi and there i will create one relationship and first of all i will download one excel and two excel file okay there is two excel file also employee sample data okay so let me download in in the first sheet i have downloaded a employee salary just click here and then you will be able to do anything like load transform and cancel i have already told you how to use transform so that is very basic and you can see my previous videos also and one more thing that there is not able to identify the column name okay so header name also so i will just go back transform data and here i will change the column name okay use first row as a header that is available in home page first row as a header it has been created i hope you understand how to create and then close and apply that's it and i will again go and copy one more file that you can see there is a employee sample data i will just click here and i will see it again that this table is able to create the header name also okay just download the report okay there is two files also available and i will go model view there are multiple files available there okay so how to manage it first thing and i need to create one thing also i just want to see everything there is a one sheet employee sample data and another sheet also is employee sample and how can i create the relationship by using manage relationships okay like that i have a age and everything i think you don't need to uh age manage relationship employee id also is there and employee id also is there okay just drag and drop you will see this pop up employee id and employee name if you want to change it if you have a full name also and there is also one more thing like job title and there is also job title so that you can create one more relationship also but the basic fundamental is there you need to create the relationship in the basic employee id so that you can identify everything because in the basic so employee id you can identify everything from everywhere okay there are multiple things many to many that means if you have multiple things you can also identify but i am just going to okay now you can see this is able to create relationship both of them okay you can see multi means many to many okay got it now i am going to report view and going to create one more page and there i will create the relationship and prepare a report like a employee salary okay annual salary is this you can see this thing and if you want to see the name of employee just go back to the employee sample data and the employee name that is full name okay employee full name and you can also create the salary from employee salary okay or employee id also you can add if you want to add now you can see this is the basic things you can see there now you are able to see the everything you can change it from here to here like this and if you want to change the formatting option also that you can change 
from the view option like this okay i hope you understand how to create the relationship in power bi and if you want to manage the relationship just go back from here and you will see one more thing manage relationship okay from here you can create one more relationship also and if you want to change the relationship between employee id to employee id to employee name to employee name okay i hope you understand how to manage the relationship also okay that's it.